Luke chapter 20 verses 27 to 38, He is not God of the dead, but of the living. Some Sadducees, those who deny that there is a resurrection, came forward and put this question to Jesus, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, if someone's brother dies leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife, and raise up descendants for his brother. Now there were seven brothers, the first married a woman but died childless, then the second and the third married her, and likewise all the seven died childless, finally the woman also died, now at the resurrection whose wife will that woman be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, The children of this age marry and remarry, but those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming age, and to the resurrection of the dead, neither marry nor are given in marriage, they can no longer die, for they are like angels, and they are the children of God, because they are the ones who will rise, that the dead will rise even Moses made known in the passage about the bush, when he called out Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, and he is not God of the dead, but of the living, for to him all are alive. The Sadducees were a group of conservative religious leaders, they only believed in and honored the Pentateuch or Torah, or the first five books of the Bible. They also did not believe in a resurrection of the dead because they couldn't find any mention of it in those books. The Sadducees decided to try their hand at tricking Jesus, so they brought him a question that had always stumped the Pharisees. After addressing their question about marriage, Jesus answered their real question which was about the resurrection. Notice how Jesus speaks about Moses who was a major hero and authority in the Torah, and they respected him as the founder of their culture. Jesus showed that Moses upheld the resurrection of the dead when he mentioned Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who had been dead for many years yet they were still alive and present to both God and Moses. Acts 23 8, tells us of the different viewpoints the Sadducees and Pharisees had on the resurrection, angels, or spirits. For the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection, nor angel, nor spirit, but the Pharisees acknowledge them all. In order to support their view the Pharisees pointed to Daniel 12 verses 2 and 3. And many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament, and those who turn many to righteousness, like the stars forever and ever. What separated the Sadducees and Pharisee was their opinion of the scripture. The Sadducees viewed the first five books of the scripture as having total authority while the Pharisees view the total scripture of equal value. Even today we see the same attitude prevail. The major religions of the world still argue about the number of books and passages contained in the Bible. It was no different at the time Jesus walked the earth. We must not think of heaven as an extension of life as we now know it. Our relationships in this life are limited by time, death, and sin. We don't know everything about our resurrection life, but Jesus affirms that relationships will be different from what we are used to here and now. So what will heaven be like? What does the Bible tell us? Revelation chapter 21 verse 4 tells us, He, God, will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more, neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. The greatest benefit of heaven will be the presence of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we will be able to enjoy their companionship forever. No more financial pressure, no more pain, no more fear of physical or emotional harm, we will be reunited with our loved ones who have preceded us to a place of eternal and total life, peace, and love.